Greetings and welcome back to our channel. In recent days, we have received somber news about the loss of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we delve into this tribute, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. A sudden departure from the game he loved, leaving behind a legacy that will forever be remembered. Vontae Davis, a stalwart in the NFL, bid farewell to this world at the age of 35, leaving behind memories that will echo through the annals of football history. The news of Vontae Davis's passing sent shockwaves through the football community. A two-time Pro Bowl cornerback, Davis etched his name among the elite during his illustrious 10-season career in the NFL. Confirming the heartbreaking news, the Davie Police Department in Florida revealed that Davis was found deceased at his home, following a medical call. Preliminary investigations indicate no signs of foul play in his untimely demise. Drafted by the Miami Dolphins in 2009, Vontae Davis quickly made his mark in the league. His exceptional talent and relentless dedication earned him accolades, including PFWA All-Rookie Honors in his debut season. The Miami Dolphins, where Davis began his NFL journey, expressed their sorrow, extending heartfelt condolences to his family and loved ones during this difficult time. Leaving behind a legacy etched in interceptions, tackles, and unwavering determination, Vontae Davis's impact on the game transcends statistics. His journey, marked by triumphs and challenges, serves as an inspiration to aspiring athletes everywhere. As we bid farewell to a legend, let us remember Vontae Davis not just for his prowess on the field, but for the indelible mark he left on the hearts of football fans worldwide. Rest in power, Vontae Davis. Barbara Rush, a name synonymous with elegance and grace, captivated audiences for decades with her versatile performances across film and television. From romantic dramas to science fiction adventures, she left an indelible mark on the golden era of Hollywood. Born to mesmerize, Barbara Rush's journey in the world of entertainment began with a Golden Globe win in 1954 as that year's rising star. Her talent knew no bounds as she shared the screen with legendary icons like Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, and Paul Newman. In Magnificent Obsession, she portrayed the concerned stepdaughter alongside Jane Wyman, showcasing her innate ability to infuse every role with sincerity and poise. And in The Young Lions, set against the backdrop of World War II, she portrayed Dean Martin's loyal wartime girlfriend, leaving an everlasting impression on audiences. Barbara Rush was not confined to any single genre. In 1950s science fiction classics like It Came From Outer Space and When Worlds Collide, she embodied the small-town heroine, captivating audiences with her charm and resilience. Her versatility shone through in films like The Young Philadelphians and The World in My Corner, where she portrayed the prized rich girl with depth and sophistication, alongside acting stalwarts like Paul Newman and Audie Murphy. Barbara Rush was not afraid to break stereotypes. In Bigger Than Life, she portrayed a vapid yet supportive wife, showcasing her range as an actress. And in Come Blow Your Horn, she brought to life the only nice girl in a bachelor's life, proving her ability to command the screen with her presence. Barbara Rush may have left this world, but her legacy will continue to inspire generations of artists and audiences alike. Her elegance, talent, and sheer brilliance will forever remain etched in the annals of Hollywood history. Betty Brodell, a talented actress and the elder sister of the esteemed Joan Leslie, known for her roles in High Sierra and Sergeant York, has passed away at the age of 104 in Florida. The family confirmed her passing through Kathy Palmer, a family member, to The Hollywood Reporter. 
Brothel's exceptional career featured performances alongside her sister in crucial wartime charity pictures such as Thank Your Lucky Stars and Hollywood Canteen, as well as other significant films like Yankee Doodle Dandy, Too Young to Know, and Cinderella Jones. Elizabeth and Brodell was born on February 5, 1920, in Detroit, the daughter of J.N., a bank teller, and Agnes, a pianist and homemaker. She was a member of the Brodell Sisters, a vaudeville act that toured North America from their hometown in New York City to Canada and Florida. Her sisters were Mary and Joan. Betty's early exposure to the entertainment industry led to her and her sister's roles in the 1936 short film Signing Off, which launched her career in film. Her contributions to the film industry went beyond the parts she played alongside her sister. She also appeared in films such as Ladies Courageous, Covergirl, and Swing Hostess. In 1948, she married Joe Franzia, with whom she lived until his death in 1999. Betty has lived in Fort Walton Beach, Florida, since 1963, where she led a long and fulfilling life. Her children, Tony and Chuck, survive her, as well as grandchildren Polly, Sonny, and Danielle, and great-grandchildren Taylor, Joe, Leah, and Lily. She was preceded by her infant son Joseph, who died in 1951. Her legacy is characterized not just by her contributions to the film business but also by the extraordinary life she lived and the impact she had on her family and those around her. Her sister Joan Leslie was also a well-known figure in Hollywood, leaving a legacy of cinematic quality. Joan's remarkable performances in High Sierra and Sergeant York, among others, combined with Betty's own triumphs to showcase a family that is inextricably linked to the fabric of American cinema. Jennifer Leake, a cherished actress known for her memorable role in the 1968 family comedy Yours, Mine and Ours, as well as her significant contributions to soap operas like The Guiding Light, The Young and the Restless, and Another World, passed away at the age of 76. Born in Cardiff, Wales, in 1947, she embarked on her acting journey with early roles that hinted at a promising career ahead. Her bond with the entertainment industry deepened when she met Tim Matt on the set of Yours, Mine and Ours, where they portrayed step-siblings. This on-screen chemistry translated into real-life romance, although their marriage lasted only a few years. Reflecting on her passing, Matt expressed his sincere sorrow and remembered her as a remarkable woman who was not only strong and beautiful but also exceptionally talented. In Yours, Mine and Ours, Leek portrayed Colleen North, delivering a remarkable cinematic experience about a blended family navigating life's challenges together. Her talent shone on television soap operas, where she portrayed characters such as Gwen Sherman, Olive Springer, Gordon Randolph, and Blanche Bouyer, making significant contributions to the storylines of these beloved shows. Despite retiring from acting in the 1980s to pursue a career in real estate, Leek's influence on film and television, particularly through her work in soap operas, remained profound. Her passion for her craft and her ability to breathe life into characters left an enduring mark on both audiences and industry professionals. Survived by her husband of 47 years, James Doria, a brother, and a large number of friends and fans who admired her work, they continue to carry on her legacy. Leek's journey from the screen to battling a serious illness exemplifies her courage and resilience, defining not only her roles but also her personal life. Her contributions to the entertainment industry, as well as her brave fight against progressive supranuclear palsy, will be remembered and cherished for many years to come. In today's breaking news, rock legend John Bon Jovi faces an uncertain future regarding touring. In a candid revelation, John Bon Jovi has disclosed that his return to the concert stage remains uncertain as he continues to recover from major vocal cord surgery nearly two years ago. The Bon Jovi frontman expressed his desire to tour next year but emphasized the ongoing nature of his recovery process. His battle with vocal cord atrophy, a challenge that posed a threat to his musical craft, 
was prominently featured during the Hula Docu series, Thank You Good Night, the Bon Jovi story. Despite the hurdles, Bon Jovi's resilience shines through as he celebrates his 40th year in the music industry. Looking ahead to the release of Bon Jovi's 18th studio album, Forever, on June 7, this update not only underscores Bon Jovi's dedication to his art but also highlights the physical challenges that performers can encounter. In a significant update, Christina Applegate bravely opens up about her battle with multiple sclerosis, MS. The renowned actress courageously discusses her challenging journey with MS, revealing the depth of her struggle on the Armchair Expert podcast. Diagnosed in 2021, Applegate faces daily hurdles, including 30 lesions on her brain that affect her mobility and cause severe pain. Despite her previous health battles, including breast cancer, Applegate describes MS as the worst thing that has ever happened to me, highlighting the relentless nature of the disease. Her candid sharing sheds light on the harsh reality of living with MS, emphasizing the crucial importance of awareness and support for those affected. Applegate's resilience and openness in sharing her story serve as a beacon of hope and strength to others facing similar battles.